Hello, my name is Sebastian Starks. I'm a physicist at the RWTH Aachen University in, well, Aachen, Germany. When the Berlin Wall fell, I was only five years old, and since this happened on a Thursday, I'm quite sure that I was in kindergarten. And during the events in the night to the 10th November, I was probably sound asleep in my bed and still blissfully unaware of all the walls that are out there that should be torn down. Well, depends on the age you're looking at, but at some point I certainly want to become a Starfleet officer. <laughs> Did this become true? Well, closest thing would have been an astronaut, I guess. Didn't become an astronaut. But I got my tricorder. Does that count? In our work, we break down the wall between the funding required for lab equipment and modern science education. In modern science classes, you want to do experimentation with data acquisition, because data drives everything. The problem is that this requires expensive lab equipment and computers for every student to process the data. However, we found that almost every student, even in developing countries, already has a little computer in their pocket equipped with a bunch of sensors for data acquisition. And so we created the FFOX that makes the sensors and smartphones available for experimentation to students from school level to academic teaching. So the idea behind FeeFox is that even cheap phones already offer a range of sensors like an accelerometer, magnetometer or just a plain old microphone. FeeFox offers a range of experiment presets so the students can simply push one button and start the experiment. And then without any additional tools or maybe some common household items, they can for example measure the speed of sound, the centripetal acceleration of circular motion, the timing of a free fall or the frequency of a pendulum. We have a long list of video instructions and experiment ideas on our website to make it as easy as possible for teachers and students to start using our app. And since access to all these sensors virtually transforms your phone into something like Star Trek's tricorder, our users casually measure the speed of an elevator while they ride it, check the electrification frequency of a train, or keep track of the pressure drops on an airplane due to laboratory usage. Beyond this, VFOX is extremely customizable and you can set up your own experiments with your own data analysis using Bluetooth interfaces or network connections. This allowed us to do a live experiment with an entire lecture hall while the results of every student are shown on the main projector. And it also allowed us to do a worldwide experiment where our users around the globe measured the position of the sun with their phone and contributed from their position to a trace of the sun during the winter solstice, which allowed us to determine Earth's actual tilt. So in short, FeeFox transforms the phone of every student into a very versatile lab. I sincerely hope that FeeFox makes science education more fun for students of all ages. And that this happens regardless of income or social status. At the moment, FeeFox supports phones that are almost 9 years old, so data acquisition becomes available to almost every student. And this way everyone can experience firsthand how data acquisition in science works, how data should be analyzed and also how data can be misleading. And I wish that this helps to create a society with a better understanding for the scientific process and be less susceptible to misinformation. By now FeeFox has been translated or is currently being translated in about 20 languages. So my hopes are high that our little contribution eventually reaches everyone around the globe. What remains to be done? Well, there is one big sensor on the phone that we haven't even used yet, and that's the camera. This will be the next major thing that we will be working on, and I'm looking quite forward to all the experiments that become available with this. What keeps me lying awake at night? Well, all the great suggestions and ideas by our users that are piling up on my to-do list. There are so many great other things that we could implement and that could be done with the phone, and we simply cannot keep up with the amazing creativity of our huge community. And I sincerely hope that this won't change and that the ideas keep flowing. I do not yet know what my son, or at the time this is being published, my two sons, think about VFOX, but I hope that when they're old enough, it helps to teach them how much fun it is to explore the world.